What is going on with my hair right now? <laughs> I do not even know. So what could you buy hair for me please? Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kiriel and today I just thought I'd come here, chill, try out new makeup. I've got Dose of Colors, I've got Wet n Wild, I've got Jouer. I just thought let's just have a good time and let's just try makeup. I've <laughs> also got this eyeshadow by Wet n Wild that I'm so excited to use because I've heard such good things. I'm doing a foundation review so that's why my base is already done. I'm actually just gonna go do my eyebrows real quick because I realize I don't have a brow product. Okay so brows are on. They look not related at all, but they look all right. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try this up first, which I'm really, really excited to try. I've been like eyeing this up by Jouer for so long, and I finally plucked up the courage and spent the 25 pound, which is so much for a bronzer, but I just really wanted to try it. I was like talking myself into it. I was like, you know, it's two bronzers technically because there's two shades in there. But anyway, I finally bought it. <laughs> this is so cute. I love this packaging. And here are the two shades. You have more of like a warm and a cool tone kind of bronzer thing going on. They look very similar. I'm hoping that this is gonna go well with my skin. I don't even think I said what this is called. This is the Jouer Sunswept Bronzer Duo Palette and I got the shade Light to Medium. I do also have this bronzer from Wet n Wild. Uh, I know I'm pale, but this is actually advertised as a bronzer. Look, it says bronzer on here. It looks more like a pressed powder. It's got a bronzy kind of undertone. Straight ahead, it just looks like pretty much my skin tone, but it does kind of like have a little bit of a cast, so maybe. I think I'm gonna try this first and then try the Jouer if it's not dark enough. I'm just gonna swatch it a little bit. It's very dusty and a little bit chunky as well. How is this supposed to be a bronzer? I'm just gonna try it though. Did that do anything? Uh, maybe if you were super duper light. I mean, I know that I'm like the palest foundations and stuff. Oh my god, this is getting everywhere. But this is not like a bronzer, really. Okay, it's adding like some color, but I mean like ever so slightly. Like this is like pretty much almost a pressed powder for me. It's not really adding dimension or anything and it is getting everywhere. Maybe this brush wasn't the best idea to use with it, but I can see it subtly, but I want something that gives me just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. After dipping in a few times as well, it's like got everywhere. <laughs> I feel like it's building up, like giving me a little bit more color, but I need more, man. Okay, let's try this Jouer one. I'm gonna go in with the lighter shade first and try and like bronze up my complexion a bit and then I'll like contour with the darker one. I'm gonna use the same brush. So I believe the one that I'm going in with now is called Sunlight. These are both matte bronzers. I don't know how pigmented these are, so let's see. Kind of just like bringing it across my cheeks as well a little bit. It's definitely got more color than the other one. Ooh, don't know if I want a little bit heavy handed there. <laughs> Probably knowing me. Ooh, this is such a nice shade, yay. It's not too orange, it's not too dark. Blended really nicely. It's just giving me a little bit of something that I needed. I'm so happy. Okay, now I'm gonna try and contour a little bit with the darker color. Hmm, it's looking a little bit too warm on my brush. Hmm. It's a little orange. This doesn't really have an ounce of cool tone to it. No, I just feel like I've put too much bronzer on. <laughs> okay, so yeah, they are literally just two bronzers. I know it's a bronzer duo, but I thought this might be a little bit cooler, but on the skin, it doesn't really translate as cooler. It's actually probably a bit warmer, <laughs> but I really like that first shade. I just feel like it was the perfect tone. I'm super happy. I'm gonna continue using this because this is good. Actually, I'm gonna put a little bit down my nose as well because I can. I'm just sweeping it across the nose a little. For blush, I've got this in a Z palette and I've had this for literally years. It's actually a tiny little dandelion from Benefit. They're like very light pink blush. And I just wanted to try this again. I think I might have tried it like years ago. I'm just gonna swatch this real quick. Okay, that's quite a nice color. I'm just gonna take my same bronzer brush and just kind of go in a little bit. Oh, that's pretty. Very kind of natural, but it has like a nice sheen to it as well, but it's not crazy. I've got this highlight by Becca. I bought like a little 
travel size because I've never tried any of their highlights before and I know people rave about them. When I was in America I did swatch a few but I didn't end up picking any up. Champagne Pop is too dark for me, I really wanted to pick up that one but too dark. So I ended up picking up this one on Beauty Bay, it's the Vanilla Quartz colour so this should be pale enough for me. I've swatched it but that's pretty much it. It's got kind of like a peachy gold shift to it so I think this will look really pretty with the blush and everything that we just used so let's try this for highlight. Seems like it's going to be creamy. Ooh, pretty. Really nice and smooth too on the skin. Does it have a cast to it on me? Yeah, like right there. It's just giving like a purpley color. But I don't like that. I'm just blending it in. I didn't really change it, but it's a pretty shift, but I just don't know if I'd use it with this bronzer again. Hmm, how many new highlight could ruin? And this was expensive for a highlight. It was like 15 pounds for this tiny little thing. At least the formula seems pretty good and it's not like too glittery because I'd hear Becca's highlights were. Maybe with like cooler looks it would look better, but I'm a bit perplexed, I'll be honest. <laughs> Since I know what lip colour I'm doing, because I'm trying out this one from Dose of Colours, I'm going to do my lips first and then move on to eyes. So this is in the colour Old Flame. I really, I just love this colour for this time of year. Ooh, pretty packaging. It's like frosted glass, frosted plastic. It's like a burnt orangey kind of colour. I'm going to just merge into my background, get ready. The camouflage is going on. My autumnal camouflage. I forgot to even say what this is. This is the... Liquid Matte Lipstick by Dosa Colors and it's in the shade Ow. It's in the shade Old Flame, which is this gorgeous burnt orange pumpkin kind of color. The color of my soul at the moment. <laughs> Doesn't really smell of anything. This is like the perfect color. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Yay. The Dofa is like a little bit stiff but soft. It almost has like a pinky undertone to it. I love this colour, oh my god. I didn't really do a good job though of like lighting my lips, like they look so uneven. Is that better? It looks pretty uneven to me. My lips are just uneven. I have to accept it and move on because otherwise I'm gonna be here for ages. It is kind of thick, this formula. It's more of like a whipped formula than like a liquid. It's a little bit sticky at the moment. I'm hoping that's gonna dry it down. The dofa I felt like was a little bit awkward. It just wasn't very controlled and I couldn't get like a sharp line, like I've kind of feathered over here a little bit. That could also just be me. I'm really opaque, so didn't have a problem with that. It is feeling quite dry now, actually like almost a powder finish. Hopefully it's not gonna really dry out my lips, but let's get on to the eyes. I'm gonna be using this Wet n Wild palette, which I'm so excited to try. So let's zoom y'all in and let's see if these are good. So this is the Rose in the Air palette. This actually looks very similar to the Modern Renaissance palette. Hopefully they don't have as much fallout though. <laughs> like comparing the shades, I mean, come on, look how similar these guys look. But this was like $3.99 or something like that on Beauty Bay. I love the fact that on the bigger colors, they've actually like engraved transition on them, which is quite cute. I think I'm gonna stick to like the browns and the like warm tones and golds today because of this lip, I just wanna keep it kind of neutral. And I think the pinks will just clash. These don't have shades, they just have numbers. So I'm gonna go in with number two over here, the like very pale one. I'm just gonna kinda like, whoa. That has a hell of a lot of fallout. I don't even know if you could see that. Like, look how much fallout that has. Oh my God, literally dipped my brush in once. <laughs> I wanna do like a super blended look. So I just wanna use this to kinda like set my eyelids. I've used concealer today as a base because I'm just being lazy. I just don't feel like being very heavy on the eye today so I didn't go in with my Eloise base because that is quite thick so I just want to do like a wash. Oh, this is so freaking dusty. Oh my gosh. But it's evened out my lid and it's like set in the concealer very nicely. <coughs> oh. Ish just went down. My camera fell down. Everything just fell everywhere and I've had to clean it up. My life is a mess today. But I did receive two packages. Got a few Halloween eyes because I wanted to do a few Halloween kind of tutorial things on my channel. So right here, right now, you're kind of getting a sneak peek. These are the colors. So look out for those. <laughs> I could have tried these highlights. I got like a massive package from Doll Beauty. I bought two of their highlights. I bought the one that was with Pretty Little Thing and also their lightest glow powder. So I'm excited to try those. But then I got all these lashes. 
Oh my god. If you didn't know, Doll Beauty does like a discount code. If you buy more than 20 lashes, then you can get 60% off. So that's what I decided to do. It's literally just something they do all the time. It's not something special just for me or anything. Not that I would get anything like that, but you know what I mean, just in case people get confused. Tell me what you're up to. We can buy right now, boy. You don't need a duffel. <laughs> So let's go in the tryout drawer. My life has literally been a shambles this morning, so let's get back to eyeshadow. Oh, it's all beat up. I fell on the floor where my camera fell down. Yeah. So I've set my eyelids with that pale powder. It was all right. It did the job of setting my eyelids. Wasn't expecting a lot, but it was very dusty. I'm gonna go into the shade number 10, which is this warmer transition at the bottom. I like guess literally, oh very pigmented. I'm gonna start by adding this into the crease and just blending it back and forth. This has a decent amount of pigment to it and it's also blending like a dream. Like, oh my gosh, that's so good. Just kind of building it up in the outer corner here because I want to kind of fluff it out. I was thinking about maybe doing like a kind of smoky wing liner. I'm gonna take that pale shade we just took. Like, look how much pigment comes off. Let's just go over the edges a little to blend a little bit more. That's pretty pretty. Like, you could just pop a shimmer on the eyelid, put on some mascara, and you could call it a day. Like, this is a really good transition. Like, it just fluffed out so easily. I kinda wanna do like an old matte look. What I wanna do though is kind of have something more on the lid. So I'm gonna go back in with this very pale shade. I'm gonna try and build up a little bit of that color. I didn't really wanna carve out the crease, but I just wanted to have something a little bit more on the lid. I'm gonna go in with this shade, which is shade number eight, I believe. I don't know. Oh no, this is number five. This is number nine. It's confusing looking on the back, okay? And I'm just gonna start like at the outer corner and I'm gonna start, ooh, these are so freaking pigmented. What the heck? I'm just gonna start creating my liner by just stamping. Wet on wild, come to the UK more often. I'm kind of tapering it out halfway across the eye, just add a little bit of definition. And now I'm gonna start winging it out just very lightly. I'm just kind of using the excess powder to kind of like fade it out a little. I'm just gonna kind of like marry this up with my lower lash line too. I do kind of want to fluff it out a little. I'm going to take one of these tiny little blending brushes. This is the Morphe M507. I'm going to take a little bit of that transition shade that we used throughout the crease. Smoking that out. I'm going to go back in with this angled brush and just going to smudge up a little bit. I think that looks pretty. It looks blended. I think. <laughs> I'm going in with that transition shade with my angled brush now and kind of bringing it in a little bit further and then just blending some more, yo. Yo, who am I? <laughs> I'm legit so impressed with these shadows though. These blend so well. Look at that. By the way, I think I said that I was going in with the transition shade. I was going in with this shade, which is number six. It's the warm toned color right here. But I am liking the way this blended liner is looking. And it's so annoying having hooded lids. You look up and it's just like, where's my liner gone? <laughs> I'm gonna actually mix in a little bit of this shade and the transition shade and put a little bit more definition throughout the crease. I know I said I wasn't gonna do definition in the crease, but I can't help it. I'm just gonna lightly, very ever so lightly with my brush, just kind of sweep over top by the crease just for a little something something extra. Now I'm gonna go over with that first brush that I use and I'm just sweeping that so it's nice and blended. I am super impressed with these eyeshadows. So I'm gonna go and do the other eye of camera because this took me way too long. <laughs> and then we'll be right back to finish up the eye. Okay, so I've done both eyes. I quickly tight lined with some liner. Now I'm gonna put on some mascara. I've been loving the Bad Gal Bang from Benefits. Just on my top lashes though, because underneath my eyes, this transfers like no other. Wait, what am I doing? I haven't even put on any shadow underneath. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> I'm gonna do this super quick. I'm gonna add the big transition color, like all the way across pretty much. It's gonna kind of smoke out the underneath as well of this liner, to kind of merge it all together. Now I'm gonna take this color and I'm gonna do the outer corner of my eye and blend it into about halfway. Blending that onto the wing as well underneath. Pretty. Just gonna keep it like that. Keep it super duper duper simple. Kinda wanna do a nude liner on my waterline. I have this one by Revolution Pro. I believe I've tried it once, but it wasn't that good. I can't remember though, so we're trying it again. I'm just gonna quickly put some in 
my waterline. Hmm. That actually isn't that bad. It's got a decent amount of pigment. It's not very creamy though, it's kind of hard. I don't know why I thought I had issues with this before. I feel like my camera's like moved down. I need to move you back. <laughs> there? Is that better? I think that's better. Anyway, <laughs> do mascara. Yeah, this mascara, I really like it for my top lashes because it makes them super long, look at that. <laughs> but I cannot put this on my under eyes because it just transfers like no other mascara. But it does some insane shiz to your eyelashes, like look at that. <laughs> Lifts my lashes to the high heavens and brings them back and gives them life again. <laughs> I'm gonna do my bottom lashes with the L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara. I just, I quite like this. I did a review on this if you haven't seen it i'll link it in the little eye i love my eye makeup right now honestly these shadows even though they are very dusty like very very dusty as you can see in the pan there they are so pigmented they are one of the most blendable shadows i think i've ever tried i'm gonna say something very bold right now and i feel like this is one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas. I have only tried the mattes in here, so I don't know what the shimmers are like. You know what? Let's let's swatch the shimmers. I'm just gonna go one. That's one swipe. That is literally one swipe. Oh my golly gosh. Like, it's not like metallic, but they, that just went so far. Like, do you know what I mean? One swipe. What the heck? This is so good for so cheap. What? I wish we had more Wet and Mild in the UK. I know we can get it on Beauty Bay now, but I would have tried, I wish, oh my God. My makeup would have been so much better when I was younger if I had like eyeshadow like this. I didn't have that high hopes. I'd heard good things, but obviously I want to try things for myself to know. These go beyond my expectations, even for just like eyeshadow in general. This is just a really good formula. Is that it? Is that all I need to do? And that went by quickly. <laughs> the lip, by the way, it's completely dried down now and it still kind of feels like powdery on the lips, but it's not uncomfortable, but I can definitely feel like a powdery kind of feel into my lips. I think I'm actually gonna skip lashes because I just like the way that this is looking by itself and I don't really wanna add lashes on. I'm not going nowhere, okay? <laughs> I don't have anywhere to be, so I'm just gonna leave it like this. I really love the way that the eyeshadow has turned out though and I like the way my makeup has turned out actually in general. I feel like it looks pretty good and uh, yeah. So let's just zoom you guys out. Let's sort out this bonnet because it looks uh, a mess. <laughs> So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm so glad I decided to film today because I found some gems in this. I hope this video has convinced you to subscribe so you get to see all my new content. And if you like content like this, then don't forget to give me a little like so I know. So I'll keep trying things like this. Honestly, if I get products like this, I'm happy to do it. If you want to be notified of my videos and don't forget to hit the little bell button next to the subscribe button so YouTube decides to let you know. Anyway guys, I'm gonna let you go and live the rest of your life. I hope you're having a nice cozy night wherever you are in the world and I hope you tune back in for the next one. Till then, bye guys!